Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio and welcome to the Open Tunes 2019 tutorial part two. Now the reason I'm making a part two is not because I'm gonna continue off of what I did last time, it's actually because I had to cut out a bit of the tutorial the first time. And that's because I my recording software didn't record the window panes opening up in open tunes like this, so I couldn't show you guys how to make a room. And that's actually really essential from working in open tunes because you guys wanna be able to customize your layout. So this is a fresh install of open tunes. We have the cleanup tab, which is I don't really use to be honest, I, I don't use it and the drawing tab which i use sometimes but this is different than what i use the timeline tab is actually the one i use the most so um we can probably start in here um or maybe we're just going to make our own room our own room actually but these i'm going to show you guys how to um draw an open tune just to get into animating from this tab the timeline tab is going to be your most important one um, most likely because you're coming from another program that uses a horizontal timeline open tunes uses the basics I mean, in the basics tab, it uses a vertical one, but most of you are gonna be doing this, so I'm gonna go back to here. Um, we're going to go here, we're gonna hit new level, and we're gonna do tunes raster level, or whatever you really want. Um, let's hit okay. And we can start drawing. Okay, so if your window doesn't go outside like this, in this gray space like mine does, I'll show you why that is. I'm gonna delete this, um, right click it and hit delete and I'm going to hit new level again. So these widths and this width and height is actually the width and height of your drawing area. So I set mine to 5,000. Um, those of you who have a lower end computer might just wanna set it to whatever your resolution is set to and you, re you can find out what your resolution is set to by going to output settings. And you see mine is in 1080p, so that's what the actual animation is coming out to. But my drawing area is actually bigger than that. I'm gonna make a new level, new level. It's 5,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels because say if I want to draw something out here, like if I want to draw a person right on the side, he's smiling, he's cheesing over here, and he's holding a hamburger, right? Perfect, excellent drawing. He has some really su super cool hair. And then I want to make the camera pan over to him. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to do camera pans in this video. Um, you guys can watch one of the older videos for that. It actually still applies today. It's perfectly fine. Um, but if I do, I'm going to extend this a little bit. Um, hit that here and then grab this. Go over to camera one. Slide it. And then, so that means instead of moving, I actually have to set the first keyframe. First keyframe is here. There we go. Instead of moving, um, instead of moving the drawing, like drawing different frames, the camera actually goes over to him. See how that works? So it's actually a lot, it's actually kind of easier if you think about it. So anyway, so we're gonna teach, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a room so you guys can customize your own layout in OpenTunes. I'm gonna go to basics and we're going to hit, we're gonna go over basics, right click and do new room. So we have a blank room. This is actually what I did in the last tutorial, but I had to cut it out. Okay, so we're gonna go to viewer. Get that in there. See this red box is gonna appear around the entire um, surface area. And then we're gonna drop that in there. So now we have a viewer. We can view our super awesome guy with the cheeseburger that's melting in his hand. And then we're gonna go back to windows. We're going to do, let's see. We're going to do toolbar, because we need our tools. I'm gonna put that on to the left. That's just usually where it is for me. Actually, we can't do that yet, can we? No, we cannot. We need to put something somewhere else first. It's kind of like a puzzle. So we're going to get a, we need a timeline. That's what I forgot. Silly me. There you go, drop timeline, drop that down here. The red's gonna come up, we can do it. Um, drag this bad boy up and it's gonna fix itself. I'm gonna put the toolbar over here, get the windows, we're gonna go to palette. These are all the things you basically need. Just running them down the list. And then we're gonna go to where, 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 where? Um, we are going to go, oh, actually, no, we already have one. Timeline and X-Sheet are the same thing. Um, X-Sheet is vertical and Timeline is horizontal. They actually didn't used to have that as why. Um, I got confused, let's see. We're going to go to Style Editor, here we go. And we're gonna go drop this right under this little thing. You see that little red line all up here? And now we can choose our colors. We can have our brushes, but one, there's one, actually one more thing we need. Um, we're going to Tool Option Bar and that will allow you to edit your brushes size and hardness and stuff like that. So as you can see, you can draw like this or make it bigger. 
gel like that. Uh, we can decrease the hardness, which decreases, which puts some softness on it, which makes it look nice like, in some cases. But basically, that is how you make a room. And if you want to lock it, you can do this. Go to Windows, do Lock Room Panes so they can't move around. You see that? You can still make them bigger and smaller, but they can't like you can't detach them because if you do, if you don't do this, then they can just come off, and it's kind of annoying when you're working um, to be detaching all your room panes. So keep that checked. On and one more thing I'm going to do to tell you before I get out of this tutorial because um, I already taught you guys how to make the room is how do you put your your automatic saving on in case OpenTunes crashes. A lot of people have problems with OpenTunes crashing, and I usually don't, but um, that's because my my system is different. So I'm going to put mine at around 10 minutes. Save automatically. Yep, you can save in the scene files. Just make sure to save before this, or if you're just fooling around, it might force you to save. And if you don't want to save, then you can just exit out of it. Anyway, so that's basically what you, all you guys need to know about making a room in OpenTunes. And now you can get started and animating, and you guys understand all of the panes and windows and all that stuff. So you can just get right into your project. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will reply with a video or I'll help you on Discord. And if you want to see my videos as soon as they're finished or download some royalty free music to use in your own videos, animations, and other projects, then head over to my new Patreon page. There are already five royalty free tracks up there, so be sure to check them out if you're interested in supporting this channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.